between the prodigy BJ Penn and Yancey Medeiros. Kickboxer back for more here tonight, and he's so comfortable in the striking realm. It's almost like he started kickboxing before he ever was reading or writing. Oh, it's unbelievable to see someone that's so comfortable under so much duress. I know. When you're in kickboxing range, you are in the fire. There is no safety. You're right in range to be getting knocked out, but he does not fear that. He loves it. He loves the, com he loves the combat. He loves the engagement. But what you have to understand is he's not engaging his opponent on their turn. He's doing it on his turn. Whether or not he wants to be in close with the big punches or he wants to be at range landing kicks, he's just constantly putting damage on you. Top, bottom, up, low, it does not matter. This guy is a dominant striker. One of the best kickboxers the UFC has ever seen. And in terms of the punching technique and the jab, as good as anyone in this division. All right, so here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And we talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot from the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take him down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them, from the speed of the level change to the timing, to the knowledge of where to go next when the guy starts to defend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he can take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So he does not in have this to. matchup, She's the better wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the canvas. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 15 wins, 8 losses, and 1 no contest. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Makaha, Hawaii, Yancey Medeiros! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 16 wins, 14 losses, and 2 draws. He stands 5 feet 9 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Wanaku, Hilo, Hawaii. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the former UFC lightweight champion and former UFC welterweight champion, the Prodigy BJ. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Herb Dean. So Herb Dean, third man in there for this one. Ready. Well, whether you're a boxer or a mixed martial artist, you want to compete at Madison Square Garden, the world's most famous arena, and dating to 2016, one of the UFC's best have gotten that opportunity. Absolutely, J.A. And when you grow up as a fighter, especially a heavyweight, it is your dream to headline MSG and fight for the heavyweight championship. I got that honor, and I can almost feel the ghost of Muhammad Ali, Joe Frazier, all those great fights those guys had at MSG. I felt as if on that night that I retained my championship, I became part of that fraternity, the greatest heavyweight fighter to ever step foot in Madison Square Garden. It was an honor and a pleasure and it felt amazing to join that fraternity. Oh, BJ Penn in a world of trouble here. Oh, he might be out. Oh, straight right. Oh. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Oh, beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Madaris' lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of slump. Right hand punch with the clinch. Wow. Of that overhand right flush. He's got to start 
without moving his head, he cannot take this many shots to the head. Big kick lands. Oh, here's a kick to the body. Blocked, though, by Yancey Medeiros. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets it. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Oh! He's giving him so many different things right now. And both guys really throwing with authority. Very nice leg kick there by Penn. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh! Oh! Back to the feet. Oh! What a sweep. Oh, he might be out. Right there is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched him. I mean, a competitive fight that one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop in this contest at 4 minutes, 47 seconds of the very first round. He played the winner by... Oh, oh, the Peron Jam!